Let's learn about supercomputer today. A supercomputer is a computer at the front line of contemporary processing capacity, particularly speed of calculation which can happen at speeds of nanoseconds. Supercomputers are the fastest type of computer. Supercomputers are very expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amounts of mathematical calculations. Supercomputers are used for 1. Fluid dynamics 2. Weather forecast 3. Calculations 4. Petroleum explorations The speed of supercomputers is measured and benchmarked in flops, floating point operations per second. China's Chen'e 2 supercomputer is the fastest in the world at 33.86 petaflops, or 33.86 quadrillion floating point operations per second. Supercomputers were introduced in the 1960s, made by Seymour Cray, at Control Data Corporation CDC. Supercomputers of the 1970s used only a few processors, while 1990s, machine used thousands of processors, and now they use tens of thousands of off-the-shelf processors. Systems with massive numbers of processors generally take one of two paths, distributed computing and computer cluster. Distributed computing, in this a large number of discrete computers are distributed over the Internet, devote some or all of their time to solving a common problem. Each individual client computer receives and completes many small tasks reporting the results to a central server which integrates the task results from all the clients into the overall solution. Computer clusters is another approach, where a large number of dedicated processors are placed in close proximity to each other This saves considerable time. This approach also make it possible for the processors to work together, rather than on separate tasks, for example in mesh and hypercube architectures. The use of multi-core processors combined with centralization is an emerging trend. One can think of this as a small cluster, for example the multi-core processor in a smartphone, tablet or laptop, that both depends upon and contributes to the cloud. Hope you enjoyed our 2 2 Tango session. We will be back with another episode, so keep on watching our 2 2 Tango.